Hello and welcome to Studio Helper, the easiest way to manage your studio. In this tutorial, we'll give you an overview of Studio Helper and walk you through some of the main features. When you first log in to your Studio Helper account, you're taken to this page, which gives an overview of what's going on in your studio. You can also get here by clicking the Overview link at the top. This page shows things like how many teachers and students are in your studio, upcoming birthdays, a list of families who currently owe you money, and a list of outstanding invoices. There's also a to-do list where you can assign tasks to staff and teachers in your studio or to yourself. On most pages within Studio Helper, you'll also see a help window like this one, which gives you information about what this page is for and how to use it. You can hide it by clicking the link in the corner. And if you ever want to see the help message again, just click the little question mark on the menu bar and it will reappear. Now, let's briefly go over the menu items at the top. First, we have the People menu. This is where you can see a list of everyone in your studio and manage the staff, teachers, students, and parents in your account. The Mass Emails page is for sending personalized mass emails to people in your studio. You can also create templates so you don't have to retype the same message over and over again. There are even some emails Studio Helper can send automatically, such as payment receipts and event reminders, and you have the ability to customize exactly how they will appear. The Lending Library helps you track items you've lent to your students and when they're supposed to be returned. And finally, the Practice Log allows your students to record how much time they spend practicing, displayed in bar charts along with other statistics, such as average minutes practiced per day. One of the most utilized features in Studio Helper is the calendar. The calendar shows all the events going on in your studio, all the lessons, classes, group events, recitals, parties, and everything else that happens in your studio. You can quickly set up your schedule by creating repeating events. Then you and those in your studio who have permission will be able to see these events in several different views. On the attendance page, you or your teachers can mark the attendance for each event, as well as enter notes about what happened at the event. Those notes can also be emailed to the student at the click of a button. On the Setup menu, you can customize your own categories and locations, and choose which color you want to assign to each category. The Money tab is where all the financial information about your studio is stored. You can create invoices for your students, receive payments, send billing statements, track your expenses, manage your inventory, and keep track of vendors from which you purchase that inventory. Invoices can be emailed to your students, saved as a PDF file, or printed. Invoices can also be set up to generate automatically, and can even calculate charges based on the lessons which are scheduled on the calendar. The Reports page has several different reports relating to the people in your studio, financial information, and the calendar. You'll be able to quickly see which students need to be assigned a teacher, how much each family currently owes you, how much money you've made and spent over a period of time, how many lessons were taught by whom within a date range, and much, much more. These reports can help you make decisions about how to run your studio, and even help you at tax time. The Settings tab is where you'll enter information that will affect your entire studio, such as your studio logo and the address you want to appear on your invoices. You can also choose your preferred date format, time format, time zone, and currency. Studio Helper also allows you to receive credit card payments from your students online via PayPal and Authorize.net. If you want to receive credit card payments from your students, you can put in your PayPal or Authorize.net information here to enable that option or sign up for an account if you don't have one. My Account is where you put in your credit card information to pay for your Studio Helper account. You'll need to fill out this page to continue using Studio Helper after your free trial. Instruments and Classes is a list of all of the instruments that you teach or the classes that you offer at your studio. This is one of the first things you'll want to set up in your account. Rates and Packages is where you'll set up how much you charge for different types of classes in your studio and is also something you should set up right away. These packages can later be linked to your students and events on the calendar so that Studio Helper will know how much to charge them. The Permissions page lets you determine who has access to perform which functions in your studio. For example, you could give your staff permission to see invoices and prevent your teachers from scheduling events on the calendar. 
if you have your own website, you can put a login form, as well as a student registration form, directly on your website to integrate your website more seamlessly with Studio Helper. The remote access page will help you set that up. Finally, the Studio Availability page lets you set up your studio hours to help prevent scheduling conflicts during times when your studio is closed. There are just a couple more general items to go over before we finish. First, you'll notice the quick search box on every page. You can use this to search for people in your studio by name. Just type a few letters of their name and you can quickly jump to their profile. Second, if you ever need to change your email address or the username and password for your account, simply click your name at the top right corner of the screen. Finally, if you have any questions about how to use Studio Helper, you can click the help link at the top left to watch our video tutorials or contact our support team. Also, on most pages, there is a feedback form in the sidebar where you can type your questions and send them to us as you have them. You can also email us directly at support at studiohelper.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Now you have a good overview of what Studio Helper can do. There is, of course, a lot more that we didn't have time to mention, so be sure to watch our other video tutorials and explore the program on your own. We are constantly working to improve the software, so if you think of something that will make it easier for you to run your studio, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you for watching this video tutorial for Studio Helper. For more information, please see the other video tutorials on our support page, check out our Studio Helper blog, or visit our website at www.studiohelper.com.